Ah, fungal shifting. It is, without a doubt, one of the most interesting mechanics of any game, and also a personal favorite of mine. What is it exactly? Well, in the game of Noita, ingesting copious amounts of psychoactive material will allow you to alter the physical and chemical properties of the world around you. In other words, it's a material randomizer of sorts, and one that adds a staggering amount of chaotic variety to runs with both positive or negative results. In order to trigger a shift, all you have to do is consume enough psychoactive material such as fungus to rack up at least 180 seconds of the tripping status effect. A few seconds later, you'll sober up and things are no longer what they used to be. The game will tell you one of two materials involved in the shift, in this case diamond. But it could go either way. Diamond could have changed into something else, such as acid, or something else, such as blood, could have changed into diamond. You don't know until you continue to play, though some shifts are very noticeable. After shifting, you also have to wait five minutes before you can shift again. Additionally, you can only shift 20 times total per run. But what I'm also showing you right now is that by holding a flask of any material, you can actually try to influence the outcome of the shift i.e. there is a 75% chance that the dominant material in the flask you have selected at the time of the shift will be used in that shift. If it is used, it's a 50-50 chance whether that material becomes something else or something else becomes that material. So you can trigger a shift while holding a flask of chaotic poly in order to try to change that into something, uh, something else. Or you can attempt to turn something into alchemic precursor so you have Midas being created all over the world. Or not. Remember, it's just a 75% chance for the material you're holding in a flask to be used in the shift. It's not guaranteed. Moreover, it's very common for all the fungus in your world to be shifted into something else. If this happens, you can alternatively use frog meat or glue to trigger shifts, though they're not quite as potent. So if you're going to be doing a lot of shifting, then you might want to make some mystery fungus with fungus liquid, toxic sludge, and sand, since it's very potent and will not be included if you accidentally shift other fungus into something else. Then you can fill a pouch with it to take it with you, or you can just turn the entire desert surface into it and return to it when you need to. If you find any rare flasks while playing, it's usually a good idea to try to shift them because you could end up with something crazy like lava to healthium. And like I said earlier, shifting just adds so much fun and variety to the game. It's entirely optional, but if you do shift, then you'll end up with runs you would have never experienced otherwise. Some of my favorites have been Smoke to Fungus, producing infinite fire throughout the entire world. Water to Healthium, allowing me to use the Water Stone as a permanent healing item. Flammable Gas to Acid, making endlessly chaotic self-propagating acid. Fun. And... Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, yes, yes! Y-E-S! Yes, yes, yes! Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Yeah. Uh, that one was Brass to Healthium, allowing the chain gun to spew healing juice everywhere. And those are just a few examples, there's a lot more you can do with this mechanic. Now I'm going to squeeze this into the video just because. If you're trying to get large amounts of void liquid easily, just head past the pyramid, under the desert right around here, to the overgrown cavern. Then all you gotta do is get some warm blood into some toxic sludge, and enjoy watching the entire biome become void. Most of the ground here is composed of fungus, and void liquid turns fungus into more of itself, basically erasing the entire biome. And now, there's just one more thing to cover. Shift families. As can be seen from this file, only certain materials can be used from and to in fungal shifts, with materials at the top of each column having a higher percent chance to be used. But what I really want to point out here is the family of each from material. Water, brine, and chili water are all in the same family. If one is shifted, all are shifted. Likewise, toxic sludge, poison, and ominous liquid are another family, and the rest, oil, swamp, and peat 
fungus, fungus blood, and fungal soil, worm blood, freezing liquid blood, like that from the skulls in snowy depths, flammable gas, poison gas, fungal gas, and toxic gas, poly and unstable poly, berserkium, pheromone, and invisiblium, silver, brass, and copper, steam and smoke, and gold powder and gold nuggets. Again, if one material in a family is shifted, all materials in that family will shift. So, for example, you could end up turning silver, brass, and copper into cheese. Yummy. And before I go, one final thing to note is that fungal shifts are determined by seed. So if you play the same seed repeatedly, you'll have the same shifts, except for that 75% chance to introduce a flask material into a shift. And all the seeds shifts actually change with each new game plus loop you go to, though the counter doesn't reset and you still only have 20 shifts maximum per run. How do I know this? Well, an active member of the community, Calioresis, made a simple mod that lists every shift when you enter a game. It's not uploaded anywhere, to my knowledge, except for the Noita community discord, and I have it linked in my discord's Noita channel as well now. So if you're interested in grabbing that, those are the two places you can grab it at. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, have a great day, and happy noiting.